Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 8th of February, Monday of the week of Epiphany 5. And the name of uh, Francois de S-A-L-I-G-N-A-C F-E-N-E-L-O-N 1651-1715. I make myself nothing with thee, Lord, I make thee the entire sacrifice of my pride, of the vanity which has possessed me up to the present. Help my weak beginning, keep me from the occasions of my falling. Turn my eyes that I see not vanity, that I see only thee, and that I see myself before thee. It will be then that I shall know what I am and who thou art. Jesus Christ is born in a stable. He has to flee into Egypt. He passes 30 years of his life in the shop of a craftsman. He suffers hunger, thirst, weariness. He is poor, scorned, and abject. He teaches the doctrine of heaven, and no one listens to him. All the great and wise pursue him, take him, and make him suffer frightful torments. They treat him like a slave, make him die between two thieves, having preferred a thief to him. That was the life that Jesus Christ chose. And we, we have a horror of the slightest humiliation. Let us compare our life to that of Jesus Christ. Let us remember that he is the master and we are the slaves. Can we with justice feel contempt for others and dwell on their faults when we are full of them ourselves? Let us commence to walk on the road which Jesus Christ has marked for us, since it is the only one which can lead us to him. The Prayer, J.K. William Lohe, 1808-1872. Jesus, my Lord, beloved Jesus, true God and searcher of the secrets of the heart, you know I love you better than the earth and all that is in it. You are dearer to me than heaven and earth. My heart desires to love you more. Lord, grant and permit me to love you so much as I desire and ought that all my undertakings, my deeds and thoughts be directed toward you. And may I always so live as will be well pleasing to you. And finally behold your face with joy. Amen.